Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Infrared P2 Pro Thermal Imaging Camera. What is it and what does it do? Well, stick around to find out. So who is Infrared and what is the P2 Pro Thermal Imaging Camera? Infrared is a leading infrared thermal imaging camera and chip producer. Their main products include infrared detectors, thermal imaging modules, night vision thermal cameras, and thermographic cameras for temperature measurement. Most of their technology ends up in the OEM market, but they do have a line of thermal imaging devices they market under their own name. Infrared did send me one of their P2 Pro thermal imaging cameras in exchange for a review. There is no outside influence in this review and my comments are my own. Also, please stick around to the end of this video for a special offer from Infrared. The P2 Pro is billed as the world's smallest thermal camera. It certainly is tiny and we'll take their word on that. The P2 Pro connects to your mobile device, either Android or iOS, and with the use of the app, turns it into a sophisticated thermal imaging camera. Coming out of the box, you'll notice that the P2 Pro is tiny. I don't have a lot of experience with thermal imagers, but this thing is really small. Along with instructions and a little soft storage bag, the P2 Pro consists of two main components the thermal imager itself, and a macro lens attachment that clips onto the camera. The camera itself weighs 9 grams, is 27 by 18 by 9.9 millimeters in size. It can be ordered with either an iOS lightning or a USB Type-C connection. The imager has a resolution of 256 by 192 pixels, which is quite good, with a pitch of 12 micrometers. Frame rate is 25 hertz, which is pretty close to full motion and it has a measurement range of minus 20 to 550 degrees Celsius. The thermal imaging sensor has a focal range of a few inches to infinity, so it is capable of a wide range of sensing applications. But if you snap on the magnetic macro lens, the focal length is reduced to a few centimeters. This allows you to do a close examination of small parts, like checking for heat on a circuit board. This macro feature of the P2 Pro makes it a perfect companion for electronic repair and troubleshooting. What makes this camera functional is the P2 Pro app. So before using the camera, you will have to go to the app store and download it. The instruction sheet told me to look for an app called P2 Pro, but I could not find anything with that search term. So I did a little bit of exploring and found that there are several infrared apps out there. I imagine they're for the variety of cameras that Infrared sells. The correct app for the P2 Pro is called Thermal P2. The app downloaded and installed onto my phone without any issues. So let's take a look at the P2 Pro Thermal Imaging app. I'm gonna walk you through the uh, Thermal P2 app on, on the phone here. I just got a, a inexpensive a handheld radio. I'm gonna throw that underneath here. I'm gonna boot up the app. Uh, when it first starts up, um, it it's gonna, you're gonna see the um, white hot uh, color palette. You can select a a various different color palettes uh, with, this, with this app. And that's right here under the uh, palette uh, button, you know, white hot, uh, black hot, uh, rainbow, uh, iron red, jungle, aurora, golden red, uh, medical, dim light, uh, gold, and red hot. So uh, you can pick a palette that's pleasing to you or tells you the information you want. Uh, when the app first starts out, it's gonna be in what P2 call, or infrared calls the uh, simple mode. And what it's basically doing is uh, showing you the, the uh, temperatures on the screen. You'll see the um, uh, the hot spot, the hot temperature, uh, sort of the average, the midpoint temperature, and then also the uh, cool temperature within the, within the frame itself. Uh, we can change up here on the menu, we can change the uh, uh, from the uh, simple mode into the professional mode. Uh, we can also adjust the image uh, settings, the automatic shutter switch, the continuous image capture, uh, measurement settings, 
we can switch between Celsius, Kelvin, and Fahrenheit. I've got mine set to Fahrenheit right now. Uh, burn prevention, this is an important feature. If you uh, point the uh, infrared detector at a very hot source point, it you could you could burn the sensor even when the camera is off. So you do have to take care that the uh, sensor is um, that you don't point it at like the sun or other really hot infrared uh, so, uh, sources. So what it has is a burn protection mode, and when that's turned on, if the uh, if if the app senses that you're you're outside of those bounds, it's gonna it's gonna cut the sensor off. Going back. Um, other general settings, we can set the language, uh, English or Chinese. Uh, we can set the themes, uh, day mode or night mode. And our, you can set a watermark if you want to watermark on the images. Um, under help, there's an about screen, user terms, help document. There's a really nice help document on here. Uh, I found with a lot of, of you know, Chinese apps, they, they don't give you a lot of instruction, but all of the help files are right in the app itself, which is really, really nice. I, I like that a lot about this. So you can see the, um, you know, if you have any questions about how any of these functions work, it's right there in the app. You don't have to dig through a separate web page or PDF file or whatnot, and then the version number, so. Okay, um, going back, this is pretty much it for um, the simple mode. Uh, we can take a photo by just pressing the photo button. It saves the photo in uh, a gallery of images that you can now export to um, your, um, your, your photos a folder, or you can send them as a, as a message or a chat or something like that. Uh, pretty easy to do. So I can delete it or import it. I can share it uh, with any anything that I want to do. Um, and I think, you know, the, I think a separate gallery is a nice thing because, you know, your thermal images are all in one spot. So if you're taking images over several days or periods of time, uh, they don't get lost you know, with all your other uh, photos that are that are stored on your device. Uh, you can also shoot video. If I just flip over to the video mode and then start, and it will record a video, 25 hertz, uh, which is a really good frame rate for something like this. So if you wanted to uh, do, a, a, you know, a imaging over a period of time and, and full motion video. It'll record video. It also records sound too. The sound isn't the best quality, but um, the video quality is, is pretty decent. So we'll just turn that off. We'll go back to photo. Okay, and that's the basic features of the, um, of the, of the basic things. There's a, a shutter adjust um, here. Uh, there's also, uh, we can do a, um, a picture in a picture so we can this turns on your other camera so you can see the real-time image along with the uh, thermal image it's kind of hard here <laughs> when we're up close you know with this we're, we're, we're close to the device it's really hard to see what that is um, but if you were shooting say video of of a product and you wanted to see you know the, the image the, the product itself in along with the thermal capture You've got that. You've got that ability. Uh, okay, let's going to go back into the uh, professional mode here, and uh, what that does is allows you to set points. So if I wanted to know a point in a certain spot, I can hit the point. Point one, it'll tell me the temperature. Point two, it'll tell me the temperature. Point three, it'll tell me the temperature. And those all show up along, you know, on the on the screen there. Um, I can clear those. If I want to do a line, I can set a line and it's going to show me the maximum, the minimum, and uh, the average temperature along that line. I can do frames. So if I wanted to do a temperature of a larger piece, it's going to show me the maximum, the average, and the minimum temperature within, within that frame. 
So I can capture, you know, uh, just some components. I can do multiple frames. I can also do uh, multiple, multiple lines. I can remove them. So lots of, lots of functionality there. Uh, scale markers, uh, temperature, temperature scales. Really handy. Image flimp, a uh, variable correction, measurement modes. So high quality, wide range. Automatic switching. We'll just go back to the high, the high image quality again. Image settings, I can set the brightness and the contrast. Uh, variable correction. Um, set the different uh, emissivity if, if we're outdoors or if we're um, looking, you know, I can uh, at, at something that we want to kind of uh, set the, you know, I could set this to uh, the white paper. Uh, we can set the ambient temperature, we can set our distance, you know, how far away we are from the, from the subject. Uh, let's see. Rotate the image, yeah, flip the image. So as apps go, I think that, you know, the app here is fairly robust. It offers a lot of features for a basic uh, imaging, a thermal imaging uh, camera. It does pretty much, you know, the things you're going to want it to do. And uh, you can use it for, you know, uh, observation, for measurement, for testing, for diagnosis and troubleshooting. Uh, pretty capable little device, a small, you know, fits on your um, mobile device and, uh, pretty well and it just works. I'm just gonna jump in here and say that if you find this video interesting and wanna see more like it, well hit like and subscribe. That's my indicator to produce more of these types of videos. Thank you for your support. As for uses, because of the P2 Pro's small size, it is certainly an excellent companion to the, in the lab or workbench for taking quick thermal measurements or diagnosing an issue with an electronic device. For one example, I pointed the camera at the uh, Wolf River Sporty 40 coil on my vertical antenna. I wanted to see if there was a difference in heat buildup based on the duty cycle of a single sideband uh, tr transmission session and an FT8 digital session. Uh, both measurements were taken on different days, but the ambient temperature was the same both days. The initial temperature of the coil was similar uh, between the two tests, and after 20 minutes at 50 watts transmit power, you could see a higher heat buildup with the digital communications versus single sideband. That is no way a scientific analysis of the coil, just an illus interesting illustration of the capabilities of the imager. For fun, I pointed the camera at the cat. Detecting an elevated temperature in people would also be another use of this camera. You could also use this device to find thermal leaks in your house um, as a night vision device. I think its utility is kind of limited though, uh, mostly due to the fragility of the device itself. And finally, I thought maybe uh, cooking would be a good application. I could use it to sense if I had a ripping hot pan. It certainly works on that regard. I could accurately tell the cooking temperature of my hot oil, although uh, the burn protection engaged multiple times while trying to cook with it. So, you know, this is an interesting trick, but I think I'm going to stick to a more conventional thermometer while cooking. So all in all, I, I think the infrared uh, camera is a pretty good value. It uh, works well for um, you know basic thermal imaging, especially indoors. You know if you're in the lab or on the workbench, uh, checking electronics components, and that's that's what I really believe that this camera is designed for. You know for night vision, not so much. You know it, it's just a, I don't think it's going to have that long-term durability if you're going to use it outdoors and those kind of purposes. But otherwise, you know for the value, this is really a good camera. And now for the good news, uh, Infrared is providing a $20 discount if you purchase the P2 Pro camera. Uh, the the camera itself is $299 and it's $349 with the macro lens attachment. Uh, there's some, it looks like there's some discounts on and off uh, if you use the Amazon links in this video description below. Uh, but, if, but if you use uh, the coupon code KB9VBR123, you'll receive that additional $20 discount.
Not only is this the smallest a thermal imaging camera on the market, it's probably one of the most affordable too. So thanks again to Infrared for supplying the camera and uh, making this discount available to my viewers. And that's it. This is the Infrared P2 Pro thermal imaging camera. Uh, what would you do with a thermal imaging camera? Well, let me know down in the comments below. And also, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them the best I can. And I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73.